Hi, all right, so today is um, Friday, February 1st, and I just thought I would make a February update video um, because things are going pretty well as I'm, you know, into February of my last year of college now. Um, plus now I'm officially four years on testosterone, so that's pretty cool. Um, I definitely still notice a little bit in the changes department. It mainly has to do with the occasional chest hair that started to colonize. I think I've mentioned that many a time. Um, as well as my little bit of chin hairs are getting a little bit more chin hairy. Um, so other than that, I actually have been feeling really emotionally stable and, and probably in the best emotional place of my entire life so far. Um, I decided to sit on a chair this time instead of on the ground, so getting used to getting used to being on the same level as my computer here. Um, but in any case, I actually am feeling physically and emotionally really, really good, um, which is surprising considering the amount of work I have to do and the amount of things going on and the fact that I actually really have no idea where I will be when I graduate May 18th. So on the day that I turn 22, I have no idea where I'll be living or what I'll be doing. But for some reason, I'm finding a lot of peace in that and I'm calming myself and realizing that I'm pretty much gonna be happy doing you know any sort of job or working anywhere where I feel like I'm working for something that I believe in. So right now I've been applying to a few farms, um, actually farms that are in this area uh, near my school, as well as looking at sort of canvassing jobs, um, working for um, public interest sort of nonprofits, and what else? I'm even thinking about looking into working at a brewery uh, because I did homebrew my own beer last year, which was really fun. And although I'm not the biggest beer drinker in the world. I still think it's really exciting um, to, it's a kind of really fun craft to do. So, you know, I'm, I don't really know what I want to do for a career, although I think that I will know soon and we'll start to pursue that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be kind of nomadic living my life. And it's the sort of, it's, it's, it's funny because it's the sort of not knowing things in my past that have triggered my sort of like, times where I felt really unstable emotionally or felt like I was dealing with like going back and forth like really highs and lows and I found that stability is something that actually really grounds me and makes me feel good so maybe that's why I've been feeling so good right now because it's kind of like I've been doing a lot of stuff consistently feeling really productive um, but I don't know how I'm going to react to that instability in the future but right now in my mindset it's sort of this infinite you know, plethora of opportunity. So I'm not not working myself up too much. A lot of people are just as lost and curious as I am. Um, however, I am hoping that I do find something that I really am happy with um, so that I have a job while I'm, you know, writing my book, hopefully, <laughs> and working on many other projects that I still want to be working on, as well as going around and meeting folks. So Emotionally, I'm feeling great. Um, my girlfriend and I are doing really well. We're being very supportive of each other in our job searches and our future. So we're hoping to end up in the same spot. Um, that would be ideal. We actually had an interview together um, locally here a couple weeks ago. We thought that went really well. So I'm just hoping that we can do that. Um, long distance last year was tough, but at least we knew we were going to be in the same place afterwards versus after college. It's like we could go our separate ways, but who knows when we'll be back in the same place. So fingers crossed for that. Um, we're taking it as it comes to us, so we'll see what happens. And um, school-wise, I am taking right now advanced drawing, which I'm sort of not as interested in. My studio art sort of career is is kind of um, not necessarily what I want to continue with the rest of my life, but I do like making art. I like producing. Um, I'm actually dealing a lot with more issues about being transgender and my own history and accepting my past and being proud of my past and my identity and being open about it. So I'm having a lot of really great conversations with both my drawing and photography professors um, about these topics and I'm also taking a nonfiction class so that I can be reading essays and memoirs and sort of getting inspiration for my own um, as I move forward in the future. Unfortunately I've been too busy to really crank anything out as I am perusing life and all that comes at me. 
In the meantime, a lot of really interesting opportunities have presented themselves. Um, I talked on Skype this morning with the guys over at Original Plumbing, um, which is OriginalPlumbing.com. It's a very popular trans magazine, and um, I actually got to meet Amos over uh, Skype today and talk to Rocco, who I met when he came to visit last fall, and hopefully come April when they launch their new site, which is supposed to be really extraordinary and I'll put a link below for their Indiegogo campaign because I'm really really excited about this project. Um, they're trying to really revamp the site, make it a really cool hub for trans resources and information and news and blogs and lovely things and um, they asked me to be their vlogging uh, curator and runner of that section so um, right now that's looking like I'll be making a video responding to uh, or responding to a question of the week or um, it'll be like every two weeks and it would allow people to kind of post their own concise sort of maybe like two to five minute response to that question and their experiences like you know hair growth um, coming out to a future partner um, a lot of issues that are very relevant to the community and um, I think it would be a cool a cool layout to have sort of like these topics these short responses and have like the author of those um, responses so if someone really likes someone's opinion on you know coming out to their parents they also might want to look on their opinion on um, you know their facial hair growth or their choice not to take testosterone or you know their choice not to have surgery or to have surgery I think it would be a really cool hub um, and organizational way to find those sorts of videos so I'll keep you posted on that and you can also check out Original Plumbing in their campaign um, below so that's interesting and um, I also got contacted by a producer or a recording artist uh, music producer in Boston who I'm hopefully gonna have a phone conversation with about my music and how I could possibly fundraise to get some better recordings for the songs that I'm really proud of. So I'm excited about that too. These all just sort of came out of the blue at me in the past week and I had this mind explosion. And I wrote this um, blog post that I'll put below too on my Tumblr when I was like in this heat of being like overwhelmed and exciting it and excited at once. So overall I'm feeling I'm feeling really good. Um, I've also been back to working out. Uh, even though I'm a little, a little stressed, but working out's making me feel really good. Can't really see because I've got got some layers on, but trying to trying to really tone up the core and feel physically healthy and good. And I actually have been. It's only been like a week and a half, and I feel really good back at the back at the gym, cranking away. And oh, and the other really exciting thing that I'm also working on is um, a project that I'm doing in photography that, about rehumanizing the trans male slash trans masculine community. Um, sort of tossing around a lot of ideas about it, but I want to take portraits of other trans masculine identified individuals um, in clothes they're comfortable with, in places they're comfortable in, um, as and have them write something about um, themselves in order to present the photos with their own handwriting. This is something I'm really looking forward to. I'm kind of inspired by Jim Goldberg and sort of journalistic documentary-like uh, documentary, documentary -like photography. So tossing around a lot of things with that and thankfully I've got some good friends on campus that are helping me locally but I'm also planning to travel to New York City, Albany, Boston um, over this semester to shoot some guys as well as thinking about um, giving cameras to people uh, that identify as trans masculine to take pictures of their day to day lives, their friends, their family, themselves, whatever they want to take pictures of, where they work, where they go to school, what they do, where they live, um, you know, and trying to get some funding from the sc my school to send out about 12 of these cameras um, that could then be sent back to me and have these well rounded um, sort of personal life hands on documentations of like a trans masculine person, a trans masculine identified person's um, whole life rather than just saying like, here, look, this person is identifies as trans. Like, no, I, I think that a lot of projects are really beautiful and successful. Um, however, they also tend to focus on like this otherness and this sort of spectacle of the trans body, which I think has its benefits and also has its negatives. And for me, what I want to do is sort of rehumanize in the sense that like, 
this is only one facet of a person. This is a part of that person's identity. But look at all these other ways in this this what this individual interacts with the other their other communities, with their family, with their friends, like the day to day rather than just this moment of like, here's a trans person. So I'm kind of tossing tossing that around. Um, it's not on the back burner. It's on the front burner because this is very rigorous advanced photography class so I'm really excited about it and I actually came out to my peers in that class as well about my own transition um, showed some pictures actually I can show you guys some cool things hold on I showed some pictures of myself um, when I was a baby and uh, here's one that my mom scanned in and sent to me uh, this is probably when I was maybe like six or seven there's my brother in the background, so I was a cutie. I'm really, I'm really proud of where I've come from. I think this whole feeling really confident with my emotional state and with my physical state has helped me because I feel really, really good about my past and it's made me so much more open about it. I know I've talked about this a little bit in the past. Here is baby Skyler at uh, his first communion. So, oh goodness, do I look happy or what? Um, that was, I was probably about the same age as the first one. Now this one, it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty out there, but this is me at my, um, whatchamacallit, like ninth grade semi-formal dance, so look at that smile, that's pretty much the same smile I've got now, it's like the photographic pretending smile kind of thing, so I showed these three images like in comparison to me holding the image, like, sort of a juxtaposition in my class, and everyone seemed like they're totally fine with it, and um, my professor seems pretty excited about the project. So I'm feeling pretty positive and good overall about it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say is that I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Um, there's a lot going on. I've got a lot of hopes and dreams, and I'm just kind of following them all. So I'm gonna cut this video off because it's already 12 minutes long. But I hope everybody's doing well and happy February. Um, and I apologize I can't get back to a lot of messages because I'm busy. But I'll put my Facebook page below. I, I checked that. Um, and update on that quite a bit too. So I hope things are things are well for everybody. Happy winter in the heart of it here. And um, yeah, I will be back and making more videos soon, I hope. So I'll see you later. Peace, guys.